Hi, boys and girls. I have another old book for you today, and it's about pets. So I brought my pet, Millie. This is my baby kitten. She's pretty big, isn't she? This is Millie, and she's my pet. And I have a book about a lady who has pets and really loves her pets. It's called, But No Elephants. And it was written by Jer Jerry Smath. This was one of my kids' favorite books when they were little. So that's why this book is in such bad shape. But we just couldn't throw it away. We loved it. Grandma Tildy lived all alone. She worked hard every day. She had no time to play. One day, a man came to her house. He was selling pets. Would you like to buy a canary bird, asked the man. Very well, said Grandma Tildy, but no elephants. Look, he's got an elephant in his truck. Grandma Tildy was cooking stew. The bird wanted to help, so he sang a song for her. It made Grandma Tildy happy. Our pets always make us happy, don't they? That night, they sat down to eat the stew together. And it tasted better than ever. I think Grandma was Tildy was lonely and didn't even know it. The next day, the pet man came again. Would you like to buy a beaver, he asked. Very well, said Grandma Tildy, but no elephants. Grandma Tildy needed firewood. The beaver wanted to help. So he cut the wood with his sharp teeth. That night, they sat in front of a warm fire. So all that firewood the beaver had to cut. Grandma Tildy went shopping. She met the pet man again. Would you like to buy a turtle, he asked. Very well, she said, but no elephants. Grandma Tildy was tired. The turtle wanted to help, so he carried her back home. That night, Grandma Tildy washed the turtle and put him to bed. The next day, it rained very hard. The roof started to leak. Then someone knocked on the door. It was you-know-who. Look at the poor leaky roof. You can see you-know-who coming, coming up the drive. Yep, it's the pet man. Would you like to buy a woodpecker, the pet man asked. Very well, said Grandma Tildy, but no elephants. That woodpecker wanted to help, so he nailed the roof down tight, and the dripping stopped. All of her pets are helpful. That night, they all danced together in the warm, dry house. The days got colder and colder. Grandma Tildy put foot, food in jars for the winter. That's called canning. Grandma, my mom and my grandma used to do that when I was a little girl, too. I don't like the cold, she said. And then the pet man appeared. Would you like to buy an elephant, he asked. It's the only animal I have left, and I, it must leave before it snows. I must leave before it snows. No, no elephant, shouted grandma, and she went back to her work. The pet man left, but the elephant stayed and it started to snow and it kept on snowing and snowing and snowing and snowing. No elephants, said Grandma Tildy, but the ant elephant would not go. He's getting really covered up with snow. They could not see the elephant now, but they could hear him crying and they felt sad. <sighs> Very well, said Grandma Tildy, you may come in. The elephant was as happy as can be, but the elephant had a problem. He could not get through the door. So they all helped to push him inside. 
Oh dear, said Grandma Tildy. I hope the floor is strong. This is a very old house. Outside, the snow kept falling, but inside the house, it was warm and cozy. Everyone hoped winter would go away and spring would come soon. Oh, here's another helpful pet. This is Macy. That night, whoops. Yeah, she's being really helpful. That night, there was a terrible crash. Do you see it? <gasps> Hear it bang. The elephant had fallen through the floor. You cannot fix, we cannot fix this, said Grandma. You will just have to stay there. Well, the winter was long and soon the firewood was gone and the elephant was always hungry. He kept eating and eating and eating until all the food was gone. We cannot leave or we will freeze, said Grandma Tildy. We cannot stay or we will starve. What are we gonna do? Look at all that food the elephant ate. All those empty jars. The elephant felt sorry. But then he thought of a way to help. He started to walk. He just stood off, stood up and started to walk. And he walked, walked through the meadow, and he walked and he walked and he walked through the town. And when he stopped, he was in a warm, sunny place. Look at that beautiful place. Oh, and look, everyone's so happy. And that is where Grandma Tildy and her friends are today. And look, she, they put up a sign. Welcome elephants. And it looks like the elephant invited some friends. Well, pets can really add a lot to our life. And they sure added a lot to Grandma Tildy's life. If you have a pet, be sure to give him a hug today. See you later. Bye.